Yo, what's good everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you how to make dark cinematic samples just like this. These samples are sick for all types of genres, especially Drill, Trap and even Detroit. But for a long time, the VSTs we were using were crazy expensive because they were the same ones that actual film composers were using. But the one I'm going to be showing you today has the same quality but at a much more affordable price. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so I'm in the Museo app and you can see even just from the Explore page and the catalogue just how many instruments they actually have. It's crazy. So they've got everything from flutes to cellos to brass, choirs, harps, percussion, drums, pretty much everything you can think of. And when you click on one of the instruments, you can actually test the sound before you download it. So you can hear the quality of the piano, for example. We could check out the guitar too. Just a really nice, real nylon string guitar. And then they even have some of the classic synths like the 808 drum machine. And then for a lot of the instruments, you have options of different articulations or how the instrument's played. For example, with this Ancient Bones woodwind. You can choose the style you like and then just either download the individual one or download everything. Same with banks like this solo cello. You could just get this piccato or pizzicato or the open strings. And that definitely helps if you've got limited storage on your hard drive because I know some VSTs are just crazy big. So let's just start cooking up. I've got the VST open and I'm just going to search piano because I've already downloaded some. We'll try the Cine Piano. So yeah, this one's sounding nice. For the melody, I want to create something really dark. We'll bring the BPM up to about 160 because I don't know if we're going to go Trap, Drill or Detroit yet. Could start with a standard C minor chord. And then just to create a dark vibe, we can use these semitones. Let's just bring the velocity down. We'll copy that, then we can make some cuts. And then to make it more natural, we're gonna bring some notes out and then press Alt and R to randomize the velocity too. And then let's pitch this down an octave. So I'm feeling that, copy it. We could change something else at the end though. Let's try and pitch this down. Yeah, that could work as well. So we just want it kind of repetitive. And then we'll add some notes on top too. Hmm, there we go. So we'll copy this as well. And then right at the end here, another subtle change. We'll just bring this down. We'll take these two and we'll copy this up here as well. So we could even get some middle notes in like here. Mm. Sounding nice and full now. Just add that there instead. All right, so I'm feeling that now. Definitely a good foundation, but I just want to layer it with something and then figure out some other counter melodies. So I'm going to open Musio again. I think one of these choirs could sound sick. Let's try this one. Yeah, even just a sustain like that. We could just take the chords like this, maybe pitch them up. Mm, yeah, I think like that, you know. So we could try the staccato ones instead. Yeah, that might be better. I think with that choir though, let's add some delay. Ping pong mode. Okay, we'll clone that again. All right, I'm thinking we definitely need some strings in there. And I really like the sound of this acoustic cello. See what I'm saying? I'm actually going to cut some highs out of that choir though. I just want it more in the background. Because then I think the cello is going to stand out a bit more. I'm thinking something like this. Yeah, just something like that. Just gonna add some bass notes to the piano as well because this will really thicken it up. So we'll just copy these and bring them down an octave. Okay, and then I've just taken that cello midi, I've copied it into a violin and I'm just bringing the reverb up a bit. 
And with those strings, I've just got the cello panned a bit to the left and the violin a bit to the right. Alright, what I think it's missing now is some sort of staccato string. So I'm just going to search staccato here. Then we could just play the melody and test some until we find one that sounds right. Maybe this one. Let's download that. With this one, we're just going to find a simple pattern that works. Doesn't go that high, but I think these notes work. Yeah, that sounds mad. Okay, and then another cool thing in Musio is the textures that they have too. Whenever I'm making samples, I always like to layer some sort of texture on it just to get an interesting vibe. Like, I really like this one, for example. And I could just take the root note, somewhere like that. And then I'm actually going to add some halftime to that texture too. Pitch it up an octave. And then we'll just filter it. Then I'm just going to add some more reverb. Then we're just going to add pancake and just pan that between both sides. I'm thinking this might sound sick when the strings are out like this. From here, I'm just going to split that pattern, copy it a couple times. Because yeah, I always just like to play around with a few different sections. So we could have that as one, and that as one. Then I think we could have the piano, just the piano and the staccato. Okay, on that piano, I'm just going to throw some portal on it to see if we can get some more texture. So yeah, something like that, just with the mix brought down. Okay, then I'm just going to take everything and we'll transpose it down three semitones because I just wanted to get a higher note for that cello. Yeah, that's the pattern. Well, with Portal, I think I only want it in one part. Just when the piano's by itself. And then I'm just going to highlight everything, send it to an empty insert. On this one, we'll just add some RC20, and this will just tie it all together. I'm also just going to add a compressor on that same bus. That should be it. So from here, I'm just gonna render the master because I wanna see if there's anything else we can get out of the sample. Maybe we could pitch it up or down, reverse it even, or change the speed. So yeah, let's see. Mm. So pitching up sounds kinda hard. We could reverse it as well. Mm. Like that bit there sounds kinda crazy, you know? And then what if we change the BPM? Let's see what it sounds like at 100, but then we'll click this and then double the speed. This could be the one, you know, like from here. So let's cut this off, set this to generic bleeding. Mm, see what I'm saying? And then maybe the part with the violence. So yeah, let's make a new arrangement, call this one drums, and then we'll just get a pattern for drums in. But yo, if you like the sounds I was using for the melody, and you want to try Musio for yourself, they offer the whole thing for only $9.99 a month, or you can get a yearly subscription for $99. Or if you just want to buy the whole thing and own it for life, you can get it for $3.99. But yo, if you use the link in the description, you get 25% off the first three months or the yearly subscription. You can even try it completely free for 30 days without having to enter any credit card information. So I've left a link to everything in the description. Then once the 30 days it up you can still use the discount that we provided so yeah huge shout out to Musio for sponsoring the video and let's get into the drums okay let's go to my love and war drum kit we'll use the OG snare then we'll grab the tight hat we'll just fill each two step and then we'll copy that 
then we just want to create some rolls. Maybe one on the snare. And then some lower ones too. So I'm feeling that. We can copy this. Then at the end, maybe we could just have a longer roar. Have it come down like this. Get rid of that one. Actually, we could slide these instead. Yeah, there we go. I think it's got a bit of spins for this one, you know? Let's just boost it up, though. Grab an open hat as well, but we'll just control the length. Yeah, then just repeat that. We have to add a stomp too. Only a couple though. Then we'll add a second snare. One of the last things might just be this laser perk. Only other thing I might add at some point is this Detroit bass. Maybe in this part where just the piano is playing. And then back to the spins. So yeah, let's actually go ahead and split the drums. We'll just copy them out a few times, bring those over. And then I think we could just start with this part here. So just get some energy straight away and then bring the hats in. And then just some kind of stutter drop like this. You see what I mean? Mm, see what I'm saying? Then we'll just grab the stomp too. Yeah, that drop sounds cold. Let's take out a few things here. An open hat. Bring everything in here. And then same again, we'll take a couple of things out. So yeah, just taking everything out here. Then we'll just stop the 808 right before the drop. Then of course we just need a transition like this. Sounded crazy. Okay, so let's copy this whole thing over. Then maybe just for a switch up, we'll have this Detroit bass after the hook. Yeah, there we go. And one other thing I almost forgot was the kick. I wasn't gonna use one because sometimes the spin just hits hard enough anyway, but it might fit in some parts. So we'll just take out a couple. Alright, now let's have a listen from the beginning. So straight away you're getting that energy from Portal. And then the texture of the Museo. Detroit to 
tutorials, just click up here.